So here we have the centrifan system uh, completely assembled out of the uh, out of the carton uh, supply line return line for the vapor hooked up to the condenser the collection flask installed. Uh, we need a line cord. We've got uh, versions that run on uh, 100 volts in uh, in Japan, 120 in the U.S. and uh, 240 everywhere else. Standard EIC type of line cord. Power switch is here. Turn on the power switch, you'll see the display light up. And that indicates that it's now running. This shows the uh, current temperature, 20 degrees C ambient. And uh, this timer is set up in, in an on-off mode now where you can actually use it as a power switch to uh, switch the rotor on and off. Uh, in the manual it describes how you actually set a down count here so if you don't want to run the samples completely to dryness you can set 60, 120 minutes uh, here and run the center fan for that long it will shut itself off including the heater and uh, leave your samples only partially dry so if you're doing concentration work it uh, works out well there. Um, for, the, uh, for the cold trap many times we use a, uh, a frozen water bottle here at the, uh, at the factory uh, it's very convenient, keeps the, uh, keeps the trap uh, clean. I forgot to freeze the water bottle, so we've had a storm here recently and I filled a water bottle with snow. So we'll use that to uh, generate the cold in the trap and maybe cause some condensation during the presentation. Um, to install the rotor, install the uh, vial carrier, I guess the whole assembly you'd call the rotor, including the fan. But we do have several different vial carriers. We do 20. 30, 40 mil scintillation vials. We do 4 mil or 1 dram vials. Um, we've got the Eppendorf tube rotor, and we've also got a test tube rotor, which uh, I believe is 16 millimeters by 100 millimeters, and there's six uh, test tubes in that rotor. To install the rotor, put it over the, uh, the shaft, and it drops in place. Turn it slightly until it locks. It actually keys onto the top of the shaft so that when the nut is installed, the rotor, vial carrier, and the nut, shaft, all spin as one complete assembly. Uh, you can check the operation now. You actually start the uh, unit if the timer is set to on. Closing the lid will actually cause this to start spinning. There's a uh, uh, sensor switch here in the, in the lid which uh, keeps the heater and the rotor off unless the lid is down and latched. Opening the lid you can see it's spinning. It's, it's, there's an electronic brake with the motor, so it stops very fast. Um, it's not like waiting for a, a, a centrifuge to, uh, to wind down. So again, just opening the lid causes this to stop. Um, I've got a half dozen vials here, which I thought I'd start, uh, start running to show you how condensation works. And again, I'm just going to use a little bit of IPA. I've got uh, in a 20 mil vial, you can put about 10 or 12 mils. Most of the uh, containers, you fill about half full because of the way they're angled in the rotor here. Centrifugal force kicks the, uh, kicks the liquid up along the side of the uh, vial, gives us uh, more surface area, and causes the uh, evaporation rate to be higher. So here are Six vials, isopropanol, it doesn't have to be exactly balanced. The diameter is so small here and the RPM low enough so that the uh, imbalance is really not an issue at all. If you're only drying one sample, you could put uh, liquid in only one, one sample vial. I would recommend that you install the uh, other five empty vials, have five empty vial positions, because you need to install a splitter. And this is a, uh, a piece of polypropylene sheet plastic which has uh, a tab on it that sticks just into the mouth of each vial. This causes the uh, gas flow in and out of the vials uh, to be separated so there's no turbulence. If you ran the center fan without the uh, splitter in place you literally just pressurize the vials. There's no, there's no net flow across the surface of the solvent. So the splitter here is a patented item that causes uh, evaporation in the vials. Closing the lid at this point, we'll start the, uh, 
start the evaporation process. I believe most of the uh, uh, most of the temperatures uh, settings are or default to uh, 40 degrees or they're set here at the factory to 40 degrees. That's where the testing is done. And uh, this will, without even checking it, I know this is going to go to 40. I can feel this warming now. And uh, so we're already starting to generate vapor, which will go through the uh, cold trap. We've got a, a source of cold here, which has probably chilled the cold finger considerably at this point. And uh, in a couple of minutes, we should be able to, to observe some condensate dripping into this flask. I think that completes the uh, the installation of the center fan. This is now this is now running, and that's literally all it takes to unpack and uh, begin using the uh, the center fan device. The manual is very detailed. Uh, talks about there's a chapter in here which talks about uh, setting the uh, timer and the uh, as well as the uh, the temperature sensor. There's also a section here. Looks like uh, 2.7, which talks about delivering nitrogen and having a vent uh, connection to the to the back of the instrument if you're looking for oxygen-free drying. Thank you very much. Back in a second with some condensate. Here is the center fan PE. It's been running for about uh, 10 minutes. I went off for a, just a little bit of a break to uh, look at a blog that's been talking about the uh, Patriots-Raven game. I guess the Patriots have won. They're going to be going to the Super Bowl this year, so good for them. Um, I am collecting isopropyl alcohol here, which is being condensed from the recirculating vapor generated by the center fan enclosure. So the condensate is happening over here because of my uh, water bottle full of New England snow condensate forming on the end of the cold finger and dropping into the collection flask. So inside of 10 or 15 minutes we have uh, received a center fan PE in a box and uh, assembled the, uh, the unit basically installing the cold trap and uh, added a, a 20 mil via rotor, some isopropyl al alcohol, a, a frozen water bottle and uh, the system is now uh, condensing, evaporating isopropyl alcohol and uh, condensing, collecting the, uh, the solvent vapor. Thank you very much for your attention.